noticed that the Gospel of the Ebionites and the Gospel of Nazarene, uh, the Gospel of Matthew, the Spurious Gospel of Matthew, they interchange, you know, um, 19, the Jewish gospel, and denied and swore and damned himself. 20, Barabbas, dot, 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 is interrupted in the so-called gospel according to the Hebrews as the son of their teacher. It's from Jerome, his commentary on Matthew. 21. But in the gospel in which is written in Hebrew, characters we read, not that the veil of the temple was rent, but that the lintel of the temple of wondrous size collapsed. And this is written by Jerome, the Epistilla ad um, Haidaben. 22. Jewish gospel that the Jewish gospel and he delivered it to them armed men that they might sit against the cave and guard it day and night. Variant of Matthew 2765 in the Zion Gospel Edition. 23. He, parentheses Christ himself, taught the reason for the separations of souls that take place in houses as have found somewhere in the Gospel that is spread abroad among Jews in the Hebrew tongue in which it is said, I choose for myself the most worthy, and the most worthy are those whom the Father in heaven has given me. This is written by Eusebius. Now if we can find the Gospel of the Alkazai, um, Then we'd uh, be we call it cooking with gas because uh, nope. I'm gonna have to do it online. What? Where's the gospel of the Alkesai? Must be here. Book of Alkesai. Ah. Uh. Most of it's in Clementine recognitions. Hippolytus and Epiphanius go to it. Uh, see if we, we can work some magic. Yay, the Roman Catholic Church, hey. Okay. The Alkazites, who also got mistaken for Ebionites, Nasserines, and uh, the Jewish Christians, uh, a sect 
of not of Gnostic Abionites, yeah, Kassites, whose religion was a wild medley of heathen superstition and Christian doctrines with Judaism. Hippolytus tells us that under Callistus, uh, AD 217 to 222, a cunning individual called Alcibiades, or lost contact, a native of Pamia in Syria, came to Rome bringing a book which he said he had received from Parthia by just but by, by a just man named Alcazai. Alcazai but Epiphanius and well I won't get into that. Uh, the contents of the book had been revealed by an angel ninety six miles high, sixteen miles broad, and twenty four across the shoulders, whose footprints were fourteen miles long, four miles wide, by two miles deep. This was the Son of God, and he was accompanied by his sister, the Holy Ghost, in its same dimensions. Alcibiades announced that a new remission of sins had been proclaimed in the third year of Trajan, A.D. 100. Fortunately, that was a horrible year to be a Christian. Uh, if you ever read uh, Pliny and Tacitus, Trajan liked to persecute the Christians. And he described a baptism which should impart forgiveness even of the grossest sinners. Harnack makes him say, was proclaimed instead of has been proclaimed, and thus infers a special year of remission is spoken as passed once for all that Alcibiades had no reason for inviting this. So Hilgenfeld was the right in holding that the Alcazai really lived under Trajan, as Epiphanius supposed if we put aside the blunder of Harnack and also his earlier odd conjecture that the remission of the third year of Trajan meant that the first two books of the pastor of Hermes were published in that year. We see the remission offered is by the new baptism. Hippolytus represents this doctrine as improved, invented by uh, Alcibiades on the lax teaching of his enemy uh, Callistus. He does not perhaps expect us to take this seriously. It is most likely ironic, iron, ironical, but he seemed to regard Alcibiades as the author of the book, Origen writing somewhat later, um, AD 246 to 249, says the heresy was quite new and seems to have met with Alcibiades, though he does not give his name for no reason why should <clears throat> dissent from 
these contemporary witnesses, and we must place the first appearance of the Book of Alkazai, um, A.D. 220, a century and a half later, St. Epiphanius found it in use among the Swampswan's descendants and the earlier Alkazites, and also among Osens and many of the Abionite communities. And Hanan an Arabic writer, 987, found a sect of Sabaeans in the desert who counted El Kasaika as their founder. Uh, according to Hippolytus, the teachings of Alcibiades was borrowed from various heresies. He taught circumcision, Christ was a man like others, and that had many times been born on earth of a virgin, and devoted himself to astrology, magic, and incarnation, for all sins of impurity, even against nature. A second baptism is enjoyed, and the name of the great and highest God is the name of his Son, the great king. Now, I must say before I read on that um, the book of Alkazai, I firmly believe, uh, is the Quran or was the uh, prototype for the Quran because it was given by an angel um, and it has Christ only being a man and it has more than one baptism, so multiple ablutions. It's Judaized, so you're following this form of the law. And it allowed for a lot of pagans kind of crap in there. So uh, let's go on, shall we? With an adjuration of seven, seven witnesses written in the book, sky, the water, the holy spirits, the angels of prayer, oil, salt, earth. One who has been bitten by the mad dog is to run to the nearest water, jump in it with all his clothes on, using the foregoing formula and promising seven witnesses that he will abstain from sin. The same treatment, 40 days, um, consecutively of baptism in cold water. It is recommended uh, for consumption, that's tuberculosis, and for the possessed. Other Ebionites in Epiphanius' time practiced this treatment, and the saints tell us that mention was made of the book of Alkazai's brother, Alexi, and that Hyrciarch was a Jew of the time of Trajan. Two of his descendants, two sisters, Marthas and Marthana, lived till the days of Epiphanius. They were reverenced as goddesses and the dust of their feet and their spittle were used to cure diseases, thus suggests Alkazai was not just a fictitious personage, but presumably a primitive leader of an Ebionite community. Okay, this is way too interesting. I'm going to stop right here and go on.